So in this video, I'm just going to show you two things. So one's referred to as substrings and the other is slicing, but both are forms of what we call string manipulation. So if we've got a string, so I'm going to say name equals um, Bob Bobbington. Okay, so we've got a string here. What we need to do is we sometimes need to be able to manipulate this string. So you're going to be using string manipulation all the time, especially when you're working with files and things like this, to get the data into a form that is exactly what you want it. So to go through some, we'll start with indexing, which is a way of creating substrings. So with indexing, you've effectively got, I'll write this as a comment, but you've seen me use in the past in previous videos, square brackets, and I've been putting a number in it. But what you've effectively got is you've got three options when you do this. You've got a start, you've got a stop, and you've got a step. So the start is the position at which something starts. You've then got the stop. I've put commas in by mistake. And you've then got the step. So if I was to print, just to show you all the different things you might want to do here. So if I was to print name, we know that prints out the entire string. We know if I print name and then a position, it prints out the relevant part. So the capital B here is at position four because we've got zero, one, two, the space is three, the capital B is position four. Now, what you can do is you can use this and we can put numbers on either side. So if, for example, I put four as the start and I didn't put anything afterwards, it would go from the position four all the way to the end because I haven't defined where it ends. But by leaving it blank, I'm basically saying keep going until there isn't any further to go. You can obviously do this in reverse. So if I did four on the right and nothing on the left, this would go up until the four. And then at that point it would stop. So it's not outputting four, it's, that's the point at which it stops because that's in the stop position. So if I do that, it's going to print everything, which is completely pointless because I might as well have deleted it and just done that. So you use this when you want to slice part of a string out, but I want to choose at what point to do it. So you can, for example, do, um, I could do a, I don't know, a three to a nine and run it. And that's the space. And then yeah, I'll do a four to a nine just because the space is a very visual. So Bobbin, okay. Then if I introduce a step, it's skipping letters out. So it's still start at position four, but then it's skipping one and going to the next one. So you can see it's done the lowercase b, but skip the O. And again, it's then skipped the I and gone to the N. And then it skipped the G, but then T outside of the stop bit. So that's why it's not appearing. So this is sometimes useful for skipping through at certain positions so if you wanted the second character from a string every time you could do something like this if i if i did that that's the second character every time so that's sometimes useful the last one which is a little bit of a cheat which a lot of people don't realize this is how easy it is if here you can put negative numbers as well so it doesn't have to be positive so if i put negative one that's actually a really, really easy way to reverse the entirety of a string because you're not defining where it starts and ends, but you're saying the increment value is minus one. So it's going to go backwards. Now, you need to be careful because if I went back to saying four and nine, I'm going to get an error now because it can't start at position. It's not actually error. This is a logic error. So it's not printed anything. It can't start at position four and go minus one and get to position nine because nine's higher it would have to be the other way around so it needs to be a higher number at the start and a lower number at the end if you're going to use minus numbers and then it will work so that in essence is indexing in a way of generating substrings which is a, a string from a string so i'm making the string here from the original string of bob bobbington so that's slicing uh, sorry that's indexing the next thing i'm going to show you is slicing so a better example for this let's get rid of this and let's have um website 
equals and this is a nice example because this is a genuine reason why you might scrape some information and want to get rid of the set thing every time so if i do http and i'll do uh, google www.google.com so we've got a website there very well known and i'm going to do the same underneath but i'm going to do bbc so they're different lengths so we've got two websites here what i might want to do is create what is effectively a slice so if i write slice equals um slice i won't use the term slice here i'll do my slice it's slice you see it's changed color because it's an inbuilt function and i'm going to say i want to slice from uh, we'll work it out uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, probably from 11 i want it to start and then i want it to end um minus four because i want to take away you can do minus numbers for the end as well i didn't mention that before so i want to take away the last four characters every time because i'm trying to just end up with the website names so i'm trying to pull just these bits of data from these two strings because the rest of it's repetitive and not important so i think that's right but we'll test it so if i then print website and then in square brackets where we usually do our indexing I'm going to pass it my slice. When I run it, ah, that's worked. So it's going to print Google. I wasn't 100% sure I got the numbers right. So if I then do website two, it's doing Google and BBC. So slicing is a way of slicing out a middle part, but we can then reuse that slice on anything I want to. So I obviously could have done something similar with the indexing because I could have printed. Uh, website so without using the slice i could have done 11 comma uh, minus 4 not a comma like that and it's done the same thing but slice is another inbuilt function we've got access to for doing this